We are discussing a Python algorithm of schedule risk analysis based on Monte Carlo simulation and generation of project risk indicators. Two steps are involved in schedule risk analysis. Step 1 is adopt Monte Carlo simulation method. Activity periods each time are randomly selected along triangular distribution of three estimate period. Perform critical path analysis 2500 times every time based on randomly selected activity periods and record every critical path analysis result. Project risk indicators are calculated, overall, or individual activities finish distribution, criticality index, schedule sensitivity index. Step 2 is to visualize the result of the Monte Carlo simulation by creating Excel charts. A distribution graph of overall project completion schedule. Tornado graphs, one for criticality index and another for schedule sensitivity index. A distribution graph of a specific activity in interest. This video is related to step 1. Step 2, visualization will be discussed in another video. Before we go farther, we are reviewing the theory of underlying schedule risk analysis. Like PERT, schedule risk analysis adopts three estimate activity duration for all activities consisting of optimistic, lower limit, most likely, mode, and pessimistic, upper limit. In PERT, each activity duration is a fixed one, mean of the distribution defined as the weighted average of the minimum, most likely, and maximum values that each activity may take, with four times the weight applied to the most likely value. Only one critical path analysis is necessary. In contrast, schedule risk analysis is required to run critical path analysis as many times as specified, for example, 2,500 times, by selecting at random a duration for each risky activity from its range and triangular distribution. To determine the entire pattern of possible completion dates for the project and its important milestones, the risk analyst iterates the project many times, say, 2,500 times based on activity period randomly selected. At the end of each iteration, the completion dates for the total project and for any important milestone are collected and stored. The program also records which activities are on the critical path for that iteration. The critical path analysis is required for deterministic schedule. PERT probabilistic schedule and Monte Carlo schedule risk analysis. We can create a new abstract data type for the critical path analysis to be used for all the three scheduling works. For this purpose, we implement the data abstractions using class for critical path analysis which can be inherited by schedule risk analysis class. Here we are discussing briefly about the class for critical path analysis named basic CPA written in a module named basic cpm.py. Init method is executed automatically when a new instance of the class is created. Define worksheet as an attribute, where period data reside, cpm basic. The activities periods are extracted from the schedule data on the worksheet. Data preprocessing is required for critical path analysis. By reading schedule input data and store in a data frame. Validating schedule input data to be detailed. Reading project calendar data to include for practical schedule. And creating one-to-one -one relation between predecessor and successor. Four functions are encapsulated in a function named preprocess. It is necessary to extract project period data simply from schedule input data in basic CPA class. And this is implemented in a function level so that the function can be overridden by subclasses, PERT and schedule risk analysis. The returned period data are passed to the critical pass analysis primarily consisting of forward pass and backward analysis. Critical path analysis goes with two ways forward pass analysis and backward pass analysis. Forward pass analysis to produce logical early schedule starting from project start activity. Backward pass analysis to come up with logical late schedule starting from project end activity. 
Calculate each activity slack referring to early schedule and late schedule. The result consisting of early schedule, late schedule, and slack is stored in a data frame and retuned. The result is incorporated on the worksheet. Five functions are encapsulated in a function named CPA. Critical activities featured with zero days float are identified and highlighted on the worksheet. Back to the topic of this video, we discuss about the schedule risk analysis algorithm. The critical path analysis we have discussed is a superclass and is inherited to leverage schedule risk analysis to articulate program coding. When an instance of the class is created, Read Excel data and worksheet named SRA Basic, containing three points estimate of activity period. Superclasses function named preprocess is inherited as it is. Create a list of randomly selected activity periods using triangular method. The list is created as many times as the number of simulations in one two-dimensional list then transformed to data frame type. Critical path analysis as many times as the number of simulations. To determine the entire pattern of possible completion dates for the project, perform critical path analysis defined in the superclass, 2500 times with different list of activity periods. At the end of each iteration, the completion dates for the total project are collected and stored. The program also records which activities were on the critical path for that iteration. A likelihood distribution and accumulative distribution of project completion dates is an important indicator like probabilistic schedule. The number of iterations is counted and stored for each completion date. In addition, running total is calculated over the whole project completion dates range. Criticality Index Criticality Index, CI, is mainly used in risk analysis. The criticality index of an activity, task, can be expressed as a ratio. During Monte Carlo simulation activities can join or leave the critical path for any given iteration. The criticality index expresses how often a particular task was on the critical path during the analysis. Schedule Sensitivity Index, SSI The Schedule Sensitivity Index, SSI, measures both the probability and the impact of variability in activity times and is known as the most reliable sensitivity metric. The probability that each activity is critical during execution is measured by the so-called criticality index, CI but that metric says nothing about the impact of delays. Specific Activity Completion Distribution A likelihood distribution and accumulative distribution of a specific activity completion dates is another indicator. The number of iterations is counted and stored for each completion date of the activity. In addition, running total is calculated over the whole activity completion dates range. A class for critical path analysis is defined as discussed. The class is inherited for schedule risk analysis class. The program performs critical path analysis 2500 times every time based on randomly selected activity periods and record every critical path analysis result. Based on the 2500 schedules, project risk indicators are calculated. We have kept focus on process and associated coding structure rather than on exhaustive coding details. You may have time on coding itself and offer your better alternatives, welcome. Or feel free to contact me if you want to discuss about specific coding details. Thanks for watching.